you go. Auto is leading the way. It sounds a little bit different because I'm using my Osmo. But there we have our Turkish Airlines Airbus A321, which will be taking us to Istanbul, as said. I can already see the personnel up there in the cabin. Their red berets, very smart. Maro and I have seat number 20. Is it 20 today? 20. 20? Yep. As we go on on board. Hello, hello. Hello, thank you very much. Nice flight. Thank you so much. Hello, welcome on board. Thank you. Hello, hello. There we go. Nice business class we had last time. If you haven't watched our business class review, you can watch that. And down we go. Nice looking aircraft, leather seats, as you can see. And let's see how many people we are here today. I think it's going to be a full flight all the way. Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. That's good. Here we go. Yes, here we go. So here we are on board. A little way to everybody on board. Got a nice window there, but we've got the crew chair right next to us here. It's nice leather seats. Lake room is not too bad either for the Airbus and boarding is still taking place. Are you comfy? Very comfy. Good. And there we have our window view for today. Always a good idea to study the safety on board car. Especially when you're sitting in the exit seat, you have to do it. Look what's sitting there in the seat just in front of me. We'll discuss that a little bit later. Okay, we'll let, we'll let Maro discuss it now. Yeah, sort of Disposable bag. How many times, viewers? Write it down below in the in the comments. Please hold the Please find and Thank you for your cooperation. You would like to welcome Safety video is playing. The pushback has begun. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board this Turkish Airlines flight. watching the safety on board video. Please fasten and adjust your seatbelts to show. Thank you for your attention. For more details, please read the safety card in your seat pocket. Make sure you follow all signs and cabin crew instructions at all times. We're on our way. So we're not going to be filming the takeoff. We're taking off now. Yeah. It was a very quick taxi. Off we go. Looking forward to this flight, trip to Cape Town via Istanbul. There we go, we've just taken off. Now I can look out the window again. Everything good so far? Oh yes, perfect. perfect. Everything's good. We don't have the microphone on yet, so I hope you can hear us also. But uh, no, it's quite enjoyable flight. It's a nicer cabin than last time, but okay, this is a short haul Airbus A321. The thing is when we look at the long flight, but I don't think that's going to be a problem either because we've got good seats and a brand new Airbus A350. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. And the cabin crew member was so kind to bring us two waters. Very nice. Very nice lady. Just married. Congratulations to you again. Hope you have a good trip to Mauritius. Mauritius. Enjoy. Here we have the leg room. I'm okay with the leg room. Maro as always. It's business nice. class legs. We look at the tray table also. Two piece tray table. Cup holder. Cup holder and so it's all slideable. Take it away very easily. Very easily, I said. That easy. There we go. And it's away. Maro's just about to show us the complimentary headphones that we found on our, our seats. Oops. There we go. Uh -huh. Oh, that looked okay. And what is it? A single socket, so you could actually use your mobile phone headphones also. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Where do you plug them in? Maro's just got to put the microphone jack in. Boom, there you go. Anyway, after I showed you the in-flight entertainment system, I forgot to show you the controller, which is here. Pretty similar to the system we had on Malaysia Airlines that we have on Thai Airways. They are pretty outdated. They used to be state-of-the-art. First time we tried them, we were thrilled. But uh, the system isn't as slow as we experienced on Malaysia Airlines, even though it's older. So we're happy for that. Hello to you all. Here's a quick little laboratory tour. Start with the basin here. 
Better put my glasses on so I can see something. Some soaps. Trash can. Cabin roof warning buttons, lights, serviettes, tissues. Got a fan up here, some kind of a light. For those of you with infants, there's a baby changing table just over here. You can use. It's a very clean lavatory. Lavatory seat covers. Here we have the lavatory. Much leg room as usual, as you can see. Toilet papers, flushing pot. Nice mirror to have a look at yourself. It's me. The lock button sliding into the right, locks it and turns on the light. One coat hanger, no smoking sign, even though there is an ashtray. Yeah. Anyway, that's the laboratory tour here on the Airbus A321 of Turkish Airlines. See you back at the seat. Down through the cabin we go. Seats just up here ahead. And Maro, ready to come in. Local time at Istanbul is 4.55, Copenhagen time 3.55, and we're flying over Poland now. Here comes the drinks wagon, meals wagon. The food is smelling really nice on board here. Quick service also. Quick service, there's three trolleys running on this little Airbus yeah. A321. Yeah. And uh, it's looking nice, inviting. Hopefully the meal is as and good we also. Are hungry. We're starving, yes. That's what I was trying to think of to say. But yeah, we're both really hungry. We had half yeah. a bun each at home. Nearly four o'clock and all Mar Maro's had is uh, half an elephant beer. The strongest alcohol she could find. You did choose that one. I chose it. I did. I'm looking forward to see what varieties they have here. Yes. Options. Yeah. As Maro just said, I mentioned we've been flying for 39 minutes and the food's already in full service. Trolley looks nice and filled up with wines, fruit juices, water and I'm sure there's Effie's Turkish beer. So Maro, are you ready for service? Yeah. Great. Trolleys are not having Lovely. I just want to show you in the meal here. We've got some Effie's beer, Turkish beer. Nice hot bun, some water over here. Looks like some kind of tzatziki or something. But I got the pasta dish, Maro has the chicken. They excused the, the spill here it's because there's been some turbulence. That's not a problem for me. Maro has the chicken over here and a bun. It's definitely like a tzatziki. Oh, that's looking really nice. Yeah. You better have a smell. Mm, mint. Is it mint? Oh, I like okay. it. Okay, like a sausage pudding or something. Chocolate pudding? Oh, that's really looking nice also. Some kind of caramel. Yeah, maybe. And then there's some water. Got the water there. That's a local Turkish butter, I would say. A little flute, and it's hot, is it? Yeah. Yeah? And the main meal here. We all know Maro can take some time to open these foils up. Oh, oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Look at that. Vegetables. Wow. It's looking. Uh, Maro's got to open my meal. Be careful with it because it has been spilling. So yeah. the turbulence. Oh, that looks nice too. Oh, very much, yeah. Bear in mind that this flight is just over two hours. Like oh, metal. Maro? Salt and pepper. Got some salt and pepper. And then the I'm just going to have a taste of this tzatziki or what, what it is. Quite solid. Wait, some nice cucumber pieces in there. Ah, it's very fresh. And the smell is, I think it's mint that's on top there. I'm holding this. It's a little bit greasy. And as I said, there's been turbulence, but I'm just going to taste the pasta while Maro has a camera on me also. Some kind of noodle cheese. Hmm. I think it's one of the tastiest I've had on board. It's actually rather nice. Put some pepper, salt, salt. Doesn't need it. Oh. Really nice. Maro's just going to have a taste also. See if she enjoys it as much as I did. Nice, huh? Very refreshing. The meat is so good. Maro's just having a taste, eh? It's looking really good. Maro always gets the best dish. I think it's some kind of agreement we have there. Oh, nice. Is that good? Mm. Nice spices and herbs. 
It's looking really nice, it really is. Before we leave, we better just pour a little bit of wine for ourselves. Wine is also included, complimentary on the flight. Some airlines can learn from this. And then I'll have my Effies, which is just over here. So I like this little foil touch here. Let's put it down here so it doesn't spray everywhere. I always pour half the beer, so I don't get it in my lap if it suddenly ends up falling. Yeah. I've always liked the Effies beer. Turkish beer is very nice. Cheers and bon appetit. Both agree that it was a very delicious meal. I could have licked the plate even on my pasta. Pasta is normally a dull thing, but they managed to make it really, really tasty. I took the pasta, not because I'm a big pasta fan, but because I wanted to show it to you here on the video. That's why we split. Maro got the best deal. The chicken was wonderful. But uh, we're leaving our desserts. We'll have a look at that. Oh, we're not leaving them. We're leaving them for the coffee, and then we'll show you them. Oh, did you learn from me? I always leave the dessert for coffee. You always gobble it down greedily. I gobble everything down greedily. Try the dessert. Nice cream here. I wonder if that's real cream. I think it's some kind of, what do you call that, buttercream or let me taste this dessert. Get a nice spoonful here. A little bit runny. Some kind of mousse, very runny mousse. Not a mousse, but a pudding. Tastes good. I always talk about the trays being removed after eating. I'm happy to say they are very quick on Turkish Airlines. Maro's tray has already been removed also. They're very active, the flight attendants on this flight, and uh, we are both very happy with this Turkish Airlines flight. We're approaching Turkey now. You're looking set there, Maro. Taking a few photos via Instagram. If you haven't followed us on our two Instagram profile, one Copenhagen, that's our home city. We update that each and every single day and our traveler profile, which is also updated each and every single day. So if you're not seeing videos here on YouTube, you can always go over to our Instagram profiles and see photos and video reels. I just wanted to say one more time how happy I am with this flight. It's so nice to, to be happy with after our past experiences. We won't name names again, but uh, I actually thought I'd become a grumpy old man yeah. with those flights, but now we saw the difference and yeah. how it's meant to be. And this is two and a half hour flight. And what a lovely service. What a lovely service, lovely personnel. Two and a half hour flight, full meal, full drinks, complimentary. We'll probably get another drink if we asked for it. Yeah. Not a problem there. Thumbs up from us. Yes. Thumbs up to Turkish Airlines. And very, very delicious food. Yes. As we are descending, make sure that your hand luggage is stowed in the overhead bins or under the seat in front of you. Next stop, Istanbul. Not far to go now. Unfortunately, we can't share the approach with you because of the seat here, as we said. landing now. We can't film that, so we'll see you on disembarkation again. It's been a good flight. Very good. I'm about to land now. That's now. Nice landing. Uh, there you go, folks. That was the landing for today for our Turkish Airlines flight from Copenhagen. Danish time is about quarter past six and local time here in Istanbul is quarter past seven. They are on the trusty also. And there we go. Disembarkation has begun. It was a good flight. Now we have to make our transfer. There's no gate number yet. It's too early for that. But we're just going to make our way to the departures area. The business. This one we have tried before. Luckily, yes, that looked so good. Yeah, lovely service. Thank you, Chokti Sakula. Thank you. Bye bye. It was Chokti Sakula, wasn't it? Just so I said the right thing. We were in Turkey a few times in the past, so we should be able to remember it. Maro's leading the way, as usual. Let's put a little speedo on Maro. Throw that. Airport. Now we're just going to get to the departures area, find the lounge. We'll sit there for the next few hours.